friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe this minimally edited surgery this patient has cataract in both eyes nuclear sclerosis about grade 4 the people is not dilating oil because of adherent leukoma the patient is a 55 years old lady she has adherent leukoma in both eyes uh, probably because of vitamin A deficiency in childhood. Probably she had keratomalacia and which she somehow got rid of and this adherent leukoma happened. So by this time the incisions have been made. And now I'm going to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye. The people dilating uh, agents have been administered like phenocaine which contains tropicamide and phenylephrine and this is adrenaline. But because of the leukoma which is adherent leukoma the people is not dilating well. So my plan is to uh, trim, uh, to cut the, you know, adherent leukoma, and for that I fill up the anterior chamber with. This is again some uh, people dilating agents. Visco. This is SPMC filling up the anterior chamber. And now I am taking scissors. First I took the micro scissor and I'm going to cut the iris. And now I find that there is still some attachment of the iris to the cornea. So I ask for a long uh, bladed uh, no, vana scissor and cut this. And now the people will dilate well and people expansion device will not be required. See, after visco the people has dilated quite well. Now I am going to do capsulorexis. There is some genular weakness could not pierce the capsule with the iterata forceps. So I take the cystitome, needle, bent needle, now this is capsular axis with uterator forceps and the size of the axis is adequate about 5.25 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is quite hard about grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. The anti chamber is filled up again with visco. In this case, I rotate the nucleus bimanually. When there is genular weakness, we should rotate the nucleus bimanually. The main wound is enlarged little bit to about 3 millimeter. And now I am going to employ my technique. 
the submarine chop technique. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus and with full ultrasonic energy it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and the nucleus cracks just by the movement of the handpiece. The nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei and this heminucleus is being subdivided. The left hand instrument is a Sinsky hook like chopper. This has been designed by me. This is just little bit stouter and thicker than a Sinsky hook. It is known as Mohanta's chopper. The pieces are emulsified ultrasonic energy used is about 80 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The nuclear shell is removed. Some cortical matter is remaining. Inject some visco. And now I take a 23 gauze Simco cannula and remove the cortex from the lower part. Even the cortex from the left side from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock has been removed. And now I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration and remove the cortex, rest of the cortex. We should not catch the iris. Caught the iris and if this, if we touch the iris, the people may be very small. The anterior chamber is filled up with visco and a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Johnson & Johnson is implanted. In this case we have used sensor 1. Sensor 1 and Technis 1 is, these are the lenses that are very good quality and they are made by Johnson & Johnson. Glistening I have not seen in these lenses. I have no financial interest but we are very happy with these lenses. Ihans is enhanced monofocal lens from Johnson & Johnson and that is doing very well. The patients are happy with Ihans. Air bubble is injected to sometimes to maintain the anterior chamber. After using bimanual irrigation aspiration, if you find that the anterior chamber is becoming very shallow, inject an air bubble and buy time to do this uh, sideboard hydration. After sideboard hydration, you can use uh, the irrigation cannula through the main wound and this air bubble will come out. I am using the 23G Simco. I do a final lavage and remove the air bubble. Form the anterior chamber nicely. We can form the anterior chamber nicely. We can clean the back surface of the cornea very nicely with this C23G Simco cannula. The integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This patient did very well in the post-operative period. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy 
and create surgical competence.